Barataria Preserve. We just walked past the visitor center and literally just along this trail, we ran into an alligator. Barataria National Preserve on the John Lafitte Preserve. It is about 18-20 miles outside of New Orleans. It's about a 30 minute drive. So the whole entire wetland is about 23,000 acres and you can find things from armadillos, lots of gators, lots of different types of snake, both venomous and non-venomous. Of course you have your mosquitoes, lizards, um, of course, you have different types of wasp and a few other critters that we are finding many of today. Um, it is the middle of March right now. It's very, very sunny. My t-shirt's a little bit hot right now. It's very warm, but it's also really beautiful. We were here about two months ago, and the change is unbelievable. There's also snakes every five feet of the way on this boardwalk. So if you come to visit, just be aware of that. So. John Lafitte Bear Terrier Preserve got its name from a Frenchman who came from a Haitian territory up to the New Orleans area and he was a businessman. Him and his brother were known to dabble with some of the local pirateers in the area. Um, because of the Napoleonic Wars, uh, the area was just losing out on all different types of goods, trade, and business. So by them becoming acquainted with these smugglers, they helped build up the area, they helped boost the economy, and although it, they did some sketchy stuff along the way, they helped the area flourish. So, let's go for a walk and see why they named this after John the Beat. So we just talked, walked by a gentleman and he said, hey, just a heads up, there's some alligators about 200 meters up, uncomfortably close. So we're gonna see what we can see. All right, so as I just mentioned, we had talked about uh, a gentleman had said there were some alligators about 200 meters down. We and, found uh, them. <laughs> and if you can look and see, they are literally like, hands width away or arms length away you can just see them which is hanging out in the sun just relaxing their eyes are even closed except you just heard me say that they opened up which is pretty incredible as you see these guys to this location twice for the sake of the video just because the first part of the trail is so very long we have decided to drive the over a mile length down to the next parking lot and continue our journey from there so let's go Now, now, as you saw just a second ago, we did have to park on the side. 
side of the road, right back there, because this parking lot, we could already see, was fairly full. And typically, at least in the earlier months of the year, it's not quite as full, but it is such a beautiful day that everyone is here. So let's keep going. Pro tip for people that drive dualies. There is at the at the visitor center like a larger parking area towards the back. But over here, it, it doesn't appear to be a very large uh, parking area. So just want to give you a heads up. side but it still does have a few different bridges and war, uh, boardwalks and there's some that you can go off to the side and you know look at some gators or some snakes and we'll show you that so one of the neat things about the Bayou Crocodile Trail the trail that we're actually walking on right now is that it actually has um, stations where you can call on your cell phone and hear a history like a virtual or a cell phone guided tour. Something that we haven't seen in a lot of parks. It's pretty neat. So this is one of the audio stops. And it talks about the history of the local area and the local people back where the Native Americans or when the Native Americans were here. So one of the neat things is they do have trees that are over 200 years old. I'll show you. because we are on our way back. First thing that we noticed as far as being handicapped or wheelchair accessible, most of the trailers, I would say about 85, 90% of the trailers, but we do get towards the end of the trail, like the very end where we do have a couple of bridges that have just a couple steps, but then the very last part, which is one of the better parts in my opinion, there are several steps up and I think that'd be very difficult or impossible for some people. And I did find that there are a lot of different waterways. So going back to some of our history about John Lafitte, um, his business with the pirates and smuggling, there's a lot of waterways here. No one wanted to go down these because frankly, there's a lot of alligators and snakes. So the smuggling seemed to be very easy for those people because no one was really out here to catch them. Um, definitely bring water and not just a small water bottle like this. I would bring maybe one of your larger personal water bottles for everyone, especially if you have little ones. And footwear is another big concern. Don't put your children or even yourself in sandals or something uncomfortable.
So adding on to Amanda's uh, tips, one of the big things is you have to be mindful of children as you're out here because literally it's right there, which is awesome, but can also be <laughs> pretty bad pretty quick. Uh, you know, but all in all, 100% worth the experience. If you're in the New Orleans area, this is definitely a must-see get out here. I would say if you're here in the summer, come early. It has gotten progressively busier. We got here about 10.30 or so this morning. And then um, it's also definitely getting a lot warmer and it's only March. So. Well, thank you for coming with us on our adventure to the Eritrea John Lafitte Preserve. This is just another reason why we, we live, live free, free RV. RV. So if you like this video, help us out. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share it with your friends. See you guys next time. One other thing we probably should have mentioned at the start of this is that bathrooms, they are only at the visitor center. So all along all of the trails that you'll walk, there are not any bathrooms. And you, if you are driving a rig, there is not rig friendly parking here at the park specifically. So find a local RV uh, campground. There's plenty throughout New Orleans and regardless of wherever you park, uh, park your rig, there's lots of easy access to get to this location. set up the uh, camera to do a walk-by shot and uh, this is what we see. <laughs> <laughs>